This summit is important because I think it's going to highlight the issue of behavioral health uh, or mental health to not only the people that work in that field, but to the broader community. I think there's a lot of um, unknowns out there. There are a lot of denials in our broader community about the breadth and depth of this problem, this social problem that we see every day. It's the first time that I'm aware of that we've had a cross-sector coming together in this county in the service of mental health support for children. And so the goals of this summit is really to bring us together in a coordinated fashion to offer services uh, for children and youth that are accessible and there at the time of need, and to not let any kids go unnoticed or have their needs unmet. The sum is important because we are bringing a collective sensibility to a complicated problem. We are basically saying, hey everybody, these are the children of our community and it requires our community to scoop them up and create a different reality. So to solve this problem, everybody has to own these kids, our kids. I think it's important to co-design a system with all of the stakeholders, including parents and young people for whom this effort is really about. It's a way to make sure that you see the entire system instead of just my own or your own little piece of it. And when we co-design it and get that full picture, it'll be a much more effective effort for the people we're trying to serve. I realize as much today as I did six months ago at the first one that the system is there. We just need the system to talk to each other. And so you look at the partners we have in this room today, about 100 people uh, from all different um, agencies, nonprofits, first responders, the hospitals. And I think what MultiCare has done is they've really facilitated kind of a new movement in, in this county, um, separate from any other, other county, separate from the state. Um, and to be self-sufficient ourselves and look out for not just our citizens, but our kids. It's been awesome that Mary Bridge has so embraced the idea of uh, kind of leading this effort. Also, the way that they've embraced getting us all together. Without them, I think we would just be continuing to flounder with looking for solutions or finding pockets of solutions here or there. I think our um, community has a lot of resources and it really is just keeping um, just a focus on collectively working together to ensure those resources are used in a coordinated way. So I think bringing community partners together is a great way to do that. Pierce County always talks about a great place to live, work, and play. It's not such a great place for our kids. We've got a lot of needs that aren't being addressed. My hope is that we work to continue to improve those needs and answer to those needs and also to just make sure that our kids are taken care of. I think we need to continue to talk. I think we need to continue to have those really hard, we talk a lot about courageous conversations. We need to make sure that when we're here and we have an opportunity for dialogue, we never take that for granted. Bad things happen if good people don't talk to one another. We start by talking to one another. We start by reaching down and investing. We start by appreciating what other people are already doing, respecting that, and growing that, improving that. You see, we can't do it ourselves, and the next person can't do it themselves. But if we go like this, what should it look like next year and next year? Then, then we will be improving things. There are a lot of caring individuals who are now coming together and thinking collectively and working really hard to try to um, better support our youth. And I know we can do a better job and that we're just at the beginning. The opportunity to actually come together as an entire community and own this as a community is really, really exciting. And I'm thankful that the uh, container is being held for this great work to kind of happen and for the community to be able to be a part of it. I think there is great potential and capacity in this room. I think we need to make sure that children and youth and their needs are front and center. And I love that that's the focus of this summit. Very, very pleased that this initiative is taking off and it's flying for us, so uh, good things will happen and our kids will be healthy. I'm super excited about the results of today's summit and how we might be able to build on that for future summits or, or the building itself uh, in the near future, so that's exciting. I'm just excited about the collaboration that's happening with the Kids Mental Health Summit. I'm excited about the possibility of having a family wellness center 
for children and youth. I love the idea of having one place that people can call or go to to get referred out to other resources. 